brand new Moon 16 motor truck towards London. I thought I'd give you a quick preview uh, of what it's like on here. I'm going to walk forward now, but the wind is pretty bad, so you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. Let's go and take a look. I mean, look how wide these side decks are. They are really wide. I would say it's probably about about three or four foot. Really big, sturdy gunnels as well. Space up here, loads of storage space. Obviously, you can't see it at the moment because they're under covers, but we've got two seating arrangements here. We've got a centre door that leads into the saloon. Over on the starboard side is the position. Obviously, you can't see it yet, and I won't go in there yet because there's people in there who might not want to be on my live stream. But I love the front. Join me on the brand new Moon 60. This is hole number one. Let's go up and check out the flybridge. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. I'm a little bit more protected from the wind. Let's say this is just a uh, sneak preview. I've uh, been on board now for about five or six hours. Space here, obviously, it's all covered up at the moment. Uh, it's been extremely windy. Uh, we've had gusts of about 36 knots on our trip uh, from Essex Marina to where we are now. Uh, so, yeah, the, um, the covers have been uh, wrapped around a little bit. But, yeah, you've got a jacuzzi here uh, with some seating on the port and starboard side. L shaped seating area here uh, with a table. Again, a great place for sitting back and relaxing family and friends on board. Over on the pool side, another L-shaped seating area. So later on today, or actually probably on Saturday, I'll be coming back on board uh, once the boat has been prepped and, and he's ready. Like I say, it's been quite a rough crossing from where we started to where we are now. Uh, but here on the starboard side of the flybridge, seating area there but look at this helm position I absolutely love it and look at these seats uh, three seats there obviously and they're heated as well so on the way over when we left um, Essex Marina um, a couple of the uh, people on board were sat up here and had the heated seats on uh, really really nice touch Obviously got three uh, Raymarine multi-function displays got the CCTV out there see so looking on the stern chart plotter, uh, the middle one, and then over on the port side, another uh, boat management display, uh, wireless charging for your phone, thrusters, engine controls, obviously the steering wheel. I did have a little um, steer of the boat earlier on as well actually, which is really nice. My friend on board from MBY uh, got some footage of me doing that, so I will share that with you once the uh, once the full video goes live. If you've got any questions in the comments, I'll be to, uh, specifically 
up here on the upper deck of Firebridge. Uh, let me know. I'm not going to go inside just yet, just because uh, there's some kids on board that might not want to be on my live stream on YouTube. But yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. This is the first live stream I've actually done on my YouTube channel using my mobile phone, so I've got no idea whether you can hear me. to uh, London, Thames, obviously, uh, so I thought I'd come up and um, shoot some uh, footage and do a live stream. So yeah, if you can hear me, let me know in the comments, and if you've got any questions, feel free to, uh, to ask them. The thing I love about this hardtop as well is that, obviously you're going to look up to the radar mast, really nice touch. Join us on a uh, windy day. Pass through, so that's why the boat is quite wet at the moment. Uh, we've slowed down to about five or six knots. I think we're doing now. Uh, we're doing about 12 or 13 knots earlier on, but we were heading into wind gusts of 35 knots. So just to kind of keep everything um, reasonably comfortable, we didn't go too fast. Uh, but I really am impressed by this boat. It's really sturdy, really comfortable, a huge amount of space as well, which you'll see when I do the uh, the full video, which I'll be working on over the next couple of days. Look how many holders there are there as well. The cups, the five cup holders there on the port side. Here you get a pretty good angle. Hey Stephen, hello, hello, hello my friend. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting. I know that the uh, comments are working now. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. about 25 miles an hour wind Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. Hello from Iceland, hello. Thanks for joining the live stream. Uh, I'm in London at the moment. If you are watching, let me know where you're watching from. Great view of the Thames. So that way is east and we are currently heading west uh, towards central London. Broker T's from Texas. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching Broker T. I know you've been uh, a long time viewer of the channel, so I appreciate that. Let's show you a bit more of the uh, running shots. Hello from Texas. Hello, Max Regrets. Thank Any questions? Leave them in the uh, the comments. Yeah, the tender. 
Quicksilver with a 25 Mercury outboard. Now shall we go down onto the, uh, no, probably not, I might fall over the bottle and go over the side. I would go down there, but I don't really want to want to get wet. Got my deck shoes on. Hello from Romania. Hello, John. Thanks for joining the live stream. Thanks for the comment. If there's anywhere you want me to look on the upper deck, let me know in the comments, and I'll head there. I'm not going to go inside just because uh, there's some people on board that might not want to be on my live stream. So. For the moment, I'm going to hang around on the upper deck, just showing you the sights of London from the Thames. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me know as well if you want me to do another live stream as we get nearer to uh, London by we or as we go past Canary Wall. Uh, let me know. <coughs> Not sure what boat that is, what kind of boat that is. Anybody knows? Let me know in the comments. Looks like some sort of I don't know, dredger hopper maybe. Many people are quite surprised how big the ships are that come up this far up the Thames, uh, huge. And the level of skill required to navigate big ships up this river, considering how busy it is. Passing Dagenham Ford at the moment. They're getting closer to London. I'm protected from the wind here, so I can uh, talk a little bit more. Again, if you've got questions, Anywhere you want me to head to on the upper deck, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you can hear me a bit better now because um, I'm out of the wind. We're heading west and the, uh, the wind from the west, as you can probably tell earlier. Uh, it's been quite choppy. Wind gusts of uh, over 30 knots on the way up here. Uh, and we were doing about 10 knots, so yeah. But I got some good footage uh, up on the flybridge. and got wet as well, which is nice. 